Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video. Welcome to episode 13 of the series Lego Investing versus Parting Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at set number 71741, also known as the Ninjago City Gardens. Now this set was actually recommended to me by PB, and they actually commented this on the community post, which was what set should I figure, or sorry, what set should I feature in the next Investing versus Parting Out episode? Leave a comment and I might pick your chosen set. So after that, I will choose Speedy Programmer set, which is the Lamborghini Cyan, so look out for that coming soon. And yeah, so let me get into a, a couple of details and specs, and then we can really go, I guess, a bit more detailed. So the Ninjago City Gardens was just released in 2021, I believe in February. It comes with 5,685 pieces, and it retails for $300. So the way that we actually calculate the price to part ratio, I believe is the price divided by the parts, right? So for example, if we take a 1,000 piece set and we divide it, um, sorry, so if we, take a, if we take a $100 set that has 1,000 pieces, we divide it just like that and we get 0.1 or 0 0.10. So that translates into roughly 10 cents per piece and that's what we have in the past at least considered historically average. Now over the years it has been lower, higher, better, worse and uh, usually what we want is a number lower than that, right? That's a that's a good part out value, or sorry, good price to part ratio. So in this case, this set has $300, it costs $300 and has 5,685. So that comes out to 0 0.05, roughly five cents per piece. And if you just look at that from a surface level, that's extremely good. Now, the issue or the concern that might come up is that a lot of these pieces are very small, and that's understandable. I know with a lot of big sets such as the Colosseum or the Big Ben, there are a lot of lo uh, small pieces repeated hundreds of times, so that's what drives up the parts. But in this case, I think there are a lot of different pieces, so it does, it does make sense to me that uh, something like this would do well. Now, let's, let's actually take a look at the, the historical uh, value. Let me see if I can pull this set up. This is going to be set 71741. And let me see what, uh, yeah, let's see what comes up. I'm not sure what it's going to come under. So this is coming under an Injago Legacy. So that's actually not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to search up the set 71741. And let me see. Okay, so it is actually interestingly coming under Ninjago Legacy. I'm not 100% sure why that is. But anyways, what, what I wanted to do here is search up two other sets that are directly related to this in... Uh, okay, so we have the Ninjago City, and then we have the Ninjago City Docks. Okay, awesome. So let's take a look at both of these sets. So this set was released in 2017. This retailed for $300. And um, yeah, let's take a look. So in the last six months, it sold for an average price of about $606. And that's a lot of money. That's already two times. And if we take a look at the current items for sale, it's a bit closer to 952. So that three times value is pretty crazy. And I know, at least I feel that, wow, this is amazing. When you really look at it, it's about a 200% increase or 300% of the original value, which is, to be honest, pretty high, right? This is, this is expensive, expensive stuff for a Lego set, right? Sometimes we lose perspective when we're in this business of selling and buying Lego, but that's a lot of money for... A box of plastic, right? Um, I, I guess on a on a different note, well, let's take a look at the other set that is sort of uh, sort of related, right? So this is the Ninjago City Dog set. This was released about a year after. Uh, also, I think a part of the Lego Ninjago movie. And these two are they can be connected, and so this new one set this sorry this new set can also be connected. So, anyways, this comes with three thousand four hundred ninety four parts, and I believe this retailed for two hundred thirty dollars US. I am just going to pull that up. And I'm sorry to any of you guys that feel that I'm sort of dragging this on. Um, the reason is I just want to compare in the past what how, how well these sets have done. So $230, that's good. And um, 
So yeah, so the last six months was a bit shy of, four, uh, of two times. Two, two times would take us to about 460. This averaged at around $404. And yeah, let's take a look at the current items for sale. Now the current items for sale, it takes us a lot higher. It's about 667. Um, I, I also thought it would be important for me to just take a look at the US new sealed because as a US seller, that is relevant. So the cheapest one in the US would take us to all the way up to 835. And for this set, that would be 699. So if you actually look at it, there's not a huge difference. I mean, to be honest, there's, there's a difference about roughly $135 or 136. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's decent, right? I actually own this set and it's completely sealed right now. And I do have that sort of question to myself that is this worth selling? Regardless, I am getting a bit distracted. So just looking at those figures, do I expect this set to go up in value? I, I never like to say things like absolutely as an investor because I don't want my words to age poorly, but I can say with a high level of confidence that yes, this set will go up in value. As I said earlier, there's really no guarantees in life and I, I think I, I honestly have to say that I cannot guarantee with 100% certainty that this will go up, but I can say with... A decent level of confidence that this will go up in value and that's because this has many of the same signs now it's not because this is a lego ninjago movie set it's because it was a 300 dollars set that had 4700 parts this is a 230 dollars set that had 3400 parts this is a 300 dollars set with what is it some crazy number isn't it 5600 that's a huge amount of parts it seems to me that this would definitely go up in value I will, and I would recommend you guys to invest in the set. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it definitely, it makes a lot of sense to me. I mean, as you guys know, the set is called Lego Investing versus Parting Out, not just Black or Bricks talks about Lego Investing for 10 minutes. So, oops, let's take a look at the parts or really what's going on in this set. So, um... I don't know how new this feature is. I actually haven't noticed it, but there's a new items feature, which really lets you take a look at all the new items in a set. And it looks like we have a lot. So there are a couple of mini figures and I'm just going to do a quick search. I think this will definitely be fairly valuable. Let's take a look how much. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. $50 for a minifigure. And guys, that has just come out. So it's not even like... Uh, What's it called? Sorry. It's not even like that has been retired or anything. It just came out and it's so expensive. Um, let's take a look. How about this one? $7. All right. So I'm, I'm not going to go through every single thing. It's not on brick, uh, brick stock yet, or sorry, what, what am I, what am I trying to say? What is the brick stock? Yeah, it's not on that yet. Unfortunately. Um, we have a couple other things. I'll just take a quick look at some pieces that I think. So a dollar there, a couple pieces that I think might be valuable just because of the stuff I know. Um, tree, okay, 98 cents. Uh, hmm, I wonder about that. Um, oh, so not too expensive. Uh, 66. Uh, oh, wait a second. Is that a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. That's a nougat colored brick. Wow. <laughs> that is actually really cool. I thought that was medium nougat. So that's, uh, I think that's usually used for skin tones. I, don't, I haven't seen a brick for that. And, um, yeah, so we have quite a few new pieces. Just taking a quick look. I know this isn't the most efficient way. I want to see if there are any any standouts, things that I might feel are super valuable or really might uh, skew the, the part out value for the set. I, I think that minifigure, the Wu minifigure, in all honesty, that has skewed it, right? Because that's a $50 minifigure. Wow. I don't think I have seen something like that so crazy in a, in a while. Anyways, let's take a look at the actual part out value of this set. So that's going to be 71741. And that puts us, oh my God, wow, that's a big number. <laughs> $1,180. That's based on the six month sales average. Out of that, I think I have 2,000 items. I'm actually surprised to have that many, and that takes me to about 218. So I think what that means to say is that a lot of the new parts and minifigures make up a lot of the value. So when you're, when you're, even thinking about parting this set out, you need to think to yourself, right? Um, if I have Ninjago minifigures, how well do they sell? 
In my experience, I have only parted out a single Ninjago set and the minifigures, I don't think a single one has sold. Uh, that might be different for this set, but that's definitely something you want to keep in mind, right? If they have, uh, if the minifigures have so much value in them, you want to ask yourself, will they sell? Uh, maybe I can try on eBay. Is there a way I can sell them, right? Because that's important. Same thing goes with the pieces, right? Uh, I, I feel like the foliage pieces tend to sell well. The uh, bricks and plates, I mean, at least in my experience, in high quantities, those do tend to sell well. Um, the challenges end up being with super specific or specialized parts that are not too popular that you, you might have a tough time selling. But when you have that kind of number, right? What is it? 1,180. Uh, that's actually just mind boggling. So I'll put that exact number in. 1,180.3. Uh, sorry, what was it? 83. Uh, I know it doesn't matter to be this specific, but I just want to show you guys. Divided by our number 300, that takes us to 3.9361. Now, three is sort of that golden number. When it's over that, that's what we're looking for, right? The part out value divided by the retail. And this is almost hitting four. Now, this is something we tend to see with larger sets that have really good uh, price to part ratios. And I would say this is one of the few sets that you can actually do confidently parting out or investing. This set is in every way of the, in, in every meaning of the word, a gold mine. It has amazing play value, great minifigures, great build, and I know people will disagree with me. I am very excited about this set. I mean, I don't know how much I've shared this. I'm a huge Ninjago fan, and I will absolutely be picking up this set, not only to build, but also to invest. I would never part out a set of this scale, and for a single reason that I have shared before, the sheer size of this. Parting out a set with 5,685 pieces will take at least... 12 to 16 hours. Now, that number, I do understand after saying it that I kind of just made that out of nowhere. I have parted out a variety of sets in the past, ranging from any, I think, around 40, 50 piece poly bags, all the way up to, I think, the, the largest one to date might be the Hogwarts Express, which is, I think, in the 700s, 800s. So that sort of set takes took me I think about eight hours and then if you add in the actual inventorying and the drawers yeah that can even take 10 10 12 hours so something of this scale I mean if you have a team that's going to take a lot of time so you need to ask yourself is this worth my time and I feel that a lot of people will come to the conclusion that it's not worth their time right I mean as a business you need to realize right Think about it like how much am I getting paid an hour right compared to your job or I mean anything else you're working right how much am I making, right? So that's that's definitely something you need to consider. My final verdict would be, I am sort of leaning to the investing side after after thinking about the whole, the work and the effort. If we just look at the numbers, right? 1,180, it's, it seems almost obvious, right? Oh, just part it out. But it's it's really not that simple. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I think that really wraps up this video. Let me know if any of you guys have invested in the other two Ninjago sets, the uh, Ninjago City and the City Docks, or if you parted them out, let me know if you had a good experience, bad experience. I am sure the commenters would love to hear. Thank you guys so much again, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you.